There is a single question at the bottom of physics, of chemistry, and of every scientific discipline in between. It takes into consideration every possible natural phenomenon of the universe, from the physics of water droplets to the chemistry behind color, from the behavior of atoms to the formation of black holes. In the 80 years since it first came up, no one has found a definitive answer to this question because there may not be a definitive answer to this question or any answer at all. But nonetheless, in this video, we will be trying to find one. We will explore where this question even came from, what the possible answers are, if there are any, and what those answers reveal about the nature of humanity. But in order to understand the nature of such a task, we have to ask ourselves one simple question. What is a second? Okay, okay, hear me out. I know it sounds stupid, and it sounds like a really dumb question with a really obvious answer, but if there's anything that science has taught me, it's that there is almost no such thing as a stupid question. So let's take a second and just think about it. Here I have with me a piece of cesium-133, or at least something that looks like it because I can't actually afford it. Today, if you Google the length of a second, you'll stumble across this answer. One second is the time that elapses during about this many cycles of radiation produced by the transition between two levels of the cesium-133 atom. Cesium is actually the element used to make one of these boys, atomic clocks, and for good reason. If you were to start one of these 150 million years in the past, back to when the Stegosaurus existed and started running one of these clocks, that clock today would be off by one second. This thing, that's how accurate this little thing is. Like, what the heck, man? But the problem with this definition of a second is that we've been using the second in calculations and measurements for a lot longer than we even knew cesium existed. So what was the original definition? The origins of the second trace back to the 1000 AD by the Persian scholar al biruni But he defined the second based on the fact that the day, the time it takes for the sun to pass the same point in the sky twice, is 24 hours long. Well, why 24? That's because the ancient Egyptians divided the day into two 12-hour parts. Well, why 12? And eventually, after wondering how you even got this far, you find what you think is the end of the rabbit hole. At around 3500 BC, the ancient Sumerians, who at the time lived in modern-day Iraq, devised the sexagesimal math system that was based around the numbers 60 and 360, which probably came from the year, which is how long it takes for the sun to climb up and climb back down the sky back to the same place. Okay, that was a lot of info, let's just climb out of the rabbit hole for a second. One second got its definition and meaning from how long one year is. But hear me out. What if the Earth were a little closer to the Sun? What if the Sun were a little smaller? Would we still use the base 60 system? And in turn, would a second still be a second long? So isn't there a little bit of chance to it all? A bit of randomness? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. 